All right, you guys, I completely forgot to film an opening for this video. So this is editing me here with no makeup on, <laughs> looking a little tired, just filming a quick little opening. So we're going to be getting into the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow palette here. And I've got this purple version. I don't know what this palette is even called. Is it called Fearless Expressive? I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's this version that has all the purples inside. We have Princess Eye there and the mirror there. And then we have inside 10 shades. Oops. So I'm going to be getting into a look I uh, did with the palette in this video. Um, I'll go quickly through the shades just so you guys can see them and then we're going to hop into the video. So this is just going to be a super quick opener here. So this one is Alphabet Street. Then we have this shade, Get Your Groove On. I'm a huge Prince fan. Then I have this shade, When Doves Cry, which I absolutely love that song. It's probably my favorite Prince song. Then we have Funk and Roll right there. And I'm just doing some quick swatches, you guys. And then... Lastly, for the top row, the blue shade is called Computer Blue. Let me go ahead and swatch the second row for you. All right, in the second row, we have Raspberry Barrette. I think that's what that's called. Ooh, that one's pretty. We have DMSR. Which is that shade there. Then we have Baby I'm a Star. There. Next, we have delirious which that one is that purple there why do my swatches always go sideways what's going on and then the last one after I'm cleaning off my fingers is indigo nights which is right there so those are all of the swatches from the palette those first swatches look terrible excuse me but as you, you can see those are the colors for this story in this palette I'm super excited about this. Like I said, I'm a huge Prince fan. Me and my sisters all are pretty much. We love Prince. And so I was super excited about this. Although I don't know if it's the best representation of Prince. But overall, I'm excited about this collection. And I'm excited to show you guys the look I came up with in this um, video. So go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to. And let's go ahead and get into the look. All right, you guys, my eyes are already primed with the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to be going in with the Sigma E27 Detailed Blending Brush, and I'm going to start with the shade Get Your Groove On. Now, I don't know if I will necessarily hold the mirror with this palette, but I will use one of my smaller mirrors to do this look. So let me see where... Okay, here we go. This is my Break the Rules mirror I got with the Break the Rules palette in the bundle. So I'm going to just hold this and do my makeup on here. Alright, I'm going right into the shade Get Your Groove On on that Sigma uh, E27 brush. I'm going to put that right into the crease and just blend that shade out. It's a nice purple shade, almost like a lilac color. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Alphabet Street to on the same brush and put that pretty much in the crease as well and on top of that purple shade to blend it out. Next, going into the shade Funk and Roll with the same brush, cleaning it off. a different brush I'm going to go into the shade Delirious which is a deeper purple
Next, we're going to go into the shade DMSR, and I'm going to use my finger to apply that onto the lid. This is a beautiful shade. Alright, using this nicer thin brush from Sigma, I'm going to use go into the shade Windows Cry and putting it on a brush, I'm going to highlight the inner corner. Alright you guys, here I am back with both eyes done. I went ahead and sprayed that little white shade windows cry and applied a little bit more on the inner corner here and then over here to give it just a little bit more pop i kind of want to hop into this shade as well a little bit baby i'm a star i think i want to maybe try to pop that on the outer part as well just to try it out so i can say that i've tried out most of the purple shades so i took a little bit on my finger here let's see what it does if i put it like right there oh yeah i gave it a little bit more sparkle and helped with deepening up out the outer part as well so i'm going to do the other side as well Yeah, I like that. It just gave it a little bit more dim uh, dimension in the look. And it looks really nice. I really like this monochromatic purple look. I think the shadows performed really, really well. I probably could spray that shade as well, DMSR, to give the eye a little bit more pop. So I might do that off camera just to see. Um, maybe I can do it on camera. I'm going to take the flat brush just to see. This is just trying out the shadows. I'm going to spray it a little bit and just put it right on top of where I already put it just to see if that'll amp up the shine or oh yeah it did not by that much though i think the finger application worked really well as well so you don't necessarily have to spray the brush these shadows went on really nice dry and nice with the finger as well so yeah either way is nice so for so far i really like the palette i didn't get into the blues but i tried it pretty much Six, seven. Try seven shades out of ten, so that's pretty good. All right, you guys. Here I am back with my foundation on. Um, I went ahead and did face foundation with the Fenty Beauty Squeeze, whatever this is called, Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint in the shade thirteen. It's uh, okay. I got a little bit of a tan uh, last three days of school doing field day, but it's okay and then i did my concealer with my nyx concealer and a little bit of the elf one as well i also to clean up the eyebrows with this this is great and i set with powder so i set with my under eyes with powder i also went ahead and did my highlight because i did a cream highlight today so i did the elf jelly pop glow stick this is the first time using it it is a new product i should have used it on camera but whatever um it gave a nice glow to the skin it looks really nice if you like have dry skin it's a little bit like that emollient almost nearing greasy feeling so if you have dry skin I think it'll work really well and it gave a nice um, shine to the face and if you um, it also sets nice with powder so I set my face with a little bit of powder still shining through that powder so I like it so far I have mine uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any other shade actually it's kind of like this this is the shade let me put it on my hand so you can see it almost got like a, almost a rosy tone to it um, so it looks pretty nice. It kind of shears out very, very much, uh, to a very sheer color. So that's for the highlight. I'm going to go ahead and go into my second blush from Mother Pat. This is the second one I ordered after the first one. I just ordered one at first and I went back and ordered another one when they came into Sephora. Um, actually, no, I ordered this off the site as well. I ordered this off the site because I saw that, um, they had, um, I didn't use my percent off. For my first order i should have went and just asked them for the percent off for the first blush but i wanted to get two blushes anyway so i was like let me just order another one so here's my second blush this one is in the shade <sighs> desert orchard and let me do a quick little swatch i'll do it up above the highlighter let me get a nice swatch so it looks like that very much subtle going to be a little bit more subtle on my skin tone it has a bit of a luminosity to it it's really really pretty you guys so Let's pop this on with my Pract, which is from Sigma uh, eyeshadow, I mean, uh, not eyeshadow, but blush brush. So I'm just going to swirl it in there. Ooh, I got a lot of pigment powder on there. Hold on. Let me hope that's not too much. And I'm just going to place it right on the cheekbone and sweep it up a bit. 
pretty much my favorite placement for blush or my other favorite is just to sweep it all the way across give you that kind of sun sunburned look okay Alright you guys, the blush looks very beautiful on the skin, blend it out nicely, doesn't look like, you know, I do see a little bit of texture, but my skin has been doing really not the best, and I think it's because I've not been remembering to do all my skincare. I mean, I I've, I've do my skincare, but it's like, sometimes I'm so tired, I'll fall asleep, not good you guys. I did that for two days in a row, but I'm getting back. To do it my skincare correctly so i like this a lot i brush a little bit on the nose as well it's really pretty it's more subtle than the other color i got and this one might be suited better for maybe a little bit fairer skin tones but it does show up on me and it looks really really pretty it gave a nice glow to the skin and it has meshed well with the powder and the cream highlight that i had on so i like it it gave me just a subtle nice color really really like it all right you guys here i am back with the final look using the urban decay times prince palette it is beautiful it is gorgeous it is lovely i think the shadows performed really really well i used seven out of ten and mostly all of the purples that shade there as well so i didn't use the blue shades here or this kind of raspberry shade there but i used get your groove on when doves cry funk and road delirious baby i'm a star dm sr and alphabet street so all of those shades performed beautifully and the eye look is gorgeous it's sparkly i like it a lot i like urban decay's formula pretty much all the palettes i've had from urban decay i think have performed well some better than some better than others of course but um i haven't had any duds as of yet but i haven't bought all of their palettes either so maybe i just got some good ones and um the blush of course i already knew what to expect since i already tried the other pat mcgrath blush and so this one worked beautifully desert orchard is a beautiful color i would say definitely if you're any deeper than me though this might i don't know this might be too light um but my other shade that i have i really love as well which is a paradise um which one is this paradise venus i believe it's called yeah paradise venus yeah so look came together beautifully let me just rack off really quickly of the other products i used to finish this look for bronzer i used the juvia's place bronze palette mine is in the um is there a this is in tan so i use mostly this one here today just to give a subtle nice little bronze look to the cheek and up here as well i did some winged liner using the lususa lu suasa i don't know how to say that this is a little liquid liner the wings they look okay they're they're not really related they're not cousins but at least they're straight because i don't do liner i don't uh for brows i actually use this beauty pie super brow precision pencil i'm trying out some products from beauty pie i will be doing a video on that to tell you if it's worth it or not and set with my essence clear brow gel for my mascara i use urban decay perversion since we're doing urban decay eyeshadow might as well use my favorite mascara from them and then for the lip combo i used purple beauty limitless which is kind of an orangey shade i feel like orange and purple go great together and uh, i applied this all over the lip blotted it the color out a little bit and then topped it with this like milky gloss from shifted up cosmetics a brand i've tried before here on my channel so yeah that's everything i used today the look came out beautiful thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it hit the like button down below of course and also subscribe if you want to join the family i'm going to end this video here you guys thank you so much for watching stay safe adios